Hey now, welcome back to Lone Star Mini Restoration. Today I'm looking at rust prevention. With my cross member welded uh, perfectly in place to my floor panel, I have my floor panel uh, ready to go back on the shell, not permanently, but to be on there for a while while I fit companion bins and fit door sills and other items. Before I do that, I wanted to try to treat the areas that I did both plug and spot welding. I wanted to try to treat them as best as possible for rust prevention. Um, now, I have a friend there in the UK if he, I don't think he minds me mentioning, his name is Pete Raymond. He, is, he has done probably one of the best restoration jobs I have seen. Um, and he's actually been over here to visit me. Uh, and so we have shared some time together here in the USA as well as online. In fact, we have driven down Highway 66 in my Mini. So that was awesome. Anyhow, Pete, one of the things that Pete did that I'm stealing from him, I'm borrowing from him, is that every place he had a seam, he tried to push um, a zinc primer into those seams. Where's my, okay. Um, so here's my zinc. Uh, basically, I have selected a molar. It's a marine, it's a marine zinc, high zinc con concentration, 98% zinc. Now, if you know, of course, well, rust okay. attaches zinc prior to the metal, right? Zinc's going to attract it. So I have gone with a, a high zinc concentration marine uh, green primer. The reason I wanted green, most things on the mini are gray and black, and I wanted to be able to see, visually see, if my attempts are succeeding or not. So what I have done, and I'm about to show you, I have somewhat succeeded what I wanted to do uh, for rust prevention. Let me show you what I have. All right, as you can see here uh, from the, the wonderfully green uh, marine zinc primer, I welded all the way across the heel board, the interface between the heel board and the floor panel. Now, uh, what I've done is I've taken a flat, a thin flat screwdriver and I've pried up this seam. This seam is not welded on the factory mini or now or this many so if you if even if you were to buy a full heritage floor panel that seam is not welded so I pried up that seam the idea was I don't care if there's runs of of primer or bubbles of primer or areas where primer collects the idea was to spray a heck of a lot of primer right above that open seams and then I took an air gun and I forced the primer down into the seam the idea was to get a good coverage and I was hoping that it would come out the other side the purpose of this is to try to cover or get close to where all the plug or spot welds are so if it come out the other side, then my job was a success. Um, this go around, maybe because I only have a spray can and I don't have the, quite the pressure, maybe I should have brought a can of it and used it, my air gun, uh, but I would have still used an, an air gun to press it, uh, you know, yeah, push it into the seam. However, so uh, when this paint dries, I will take a soft hammer or dolly and I will move that flange back and make it a tight seam and of course I will still use seam sealer everywhere but I wanted to attack where I have already welded so with that we're going to look underneath all right so now that's too much light so now when I come under and I'm looking now I didn't expect any in here because I did a seam weld on the top side so this sucker is tight well, hopefully, if there, were, if there were primer in here, it means there's holes. But uh, anyhow, so you can see where the primer is seeping through. I, now, I was hoping to see a heck of a lot, heck of a lot more of it, but it's working. Um, it's working. So the, I, that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted it to come through because now I know it's getting into this flange and covering that area. Um, so I consider this a success. I may have to try to use more pressure next time, but we're good. 
I, th I think we're, we're good to go. I may be talking to Pete a little bit more to figure out if he developed a, a good technique for applying that. Um, if I have to, I may have to order a can of it and use my actual spray gun versus a, a rattle can. Uh, if that'll give me better results, then I may do that. Uh, but I do plan on hitting every seam in the car. Anywhere where I do a spot weld or a plug weld, I plan on spraying that into the seam and then fixing the seam back. Uh, just as an added measure to rust prevention. So, um, so far I've had a little bit of success with it. Not quite the complete coverage that I was hoping, but it's going to help no matter what. Just getting it down in there is going to help. Okay, before I go, uh, I had to mention because a couple people asked me personally about this spot weld cutter tool. Um, and so just I'm going to reiterate what I've said in the previous videos. And if you want to see some of this in action, watch a, a, a video a, a couple weeks ago and you'll see this. This is absolutely beautiful. Prior to this, I was using one of tool. I started off with this guy, um, which I absolutely hated. Now it's kind of, you think it's cool because you can flip the bits around. When these teeth get old, you can flip it and make another one. Um, but with this, sometimes I'd go through both panels, sometimes half, you know, uh, different depths all the time, never the same, never consistent, horrible. Then I was turned on to the Sealy bits, which these guys are much better. These are like hollow. It leaves metal in the center. No, don't, don't use these. None of you are serious, right? Um, Sealy, this is, is a solid bit, so it's going to cut out all the material. Um, this was definitely much better, absolutely much better. Now that I, if I didn't have this, absolutely I'd be using the Sealy bits. Now I've got two of these, two brand new ones, plus the one I was using that I don't know if I'll ever use again because this bad boy, um, you can set the depth, this red dial right here, you can set the depth on how much metal you want to cut out. And it doesn't take long, you know, even for the novice like me, the very first time I set the depth and pulled the trigger, it gave me a beauty, it removed the spot weld absolutely perfectly. Um, so what happens is the first time you pull the trigger, um, this, well, if you have this, and I'll talk about this in a minute, it clamps onto the material. And then when, this, then when you fully depress the trigger, it starts cutting, and it will only cut out the specified amount. And you can get beautiful spot weld removals uh, within seconds. Now, with that, now there are other manufacturers out there, and I can't speak to those. But with that comes this clamp tool. Now, with some of the other manufacturers, the depth of this, the height, is larger. Um, and that could certainly be beneficial. Uh, however, for the Mini so far, just pop this on, this has been fantastic. So what happens is the first depression of the trigger right here clamps your two pieces of metal and it keeps your drill cutter, it keeps the drill from walking on you. It clamps it together. And then when you depress it all the way, then it starts cutting metal. Um, this is fan I've used it now both by clamping and without the clamp because there's some places you just can't this clamp is not deep enough to access the area so you have to remove it in order to use it uh, but this guy is precision uh, absolutely outstanding thanks for tuning in to my journey of my restoration by just now